there are typically three ways to add a location into Mail Manager. Now, the way to do this is by going to Outlook and then clicking on Tools and Locations, which will open up the Locations window. Now, on the left-hand side here, you can see a list of collections. In this situation, I want to add a new project that's just, just been started. So I'm going to click on the Projects Collection. The first way to add a location is by going to the Add Location button at the top. So this opens up a mini prompt. I can see it's already looking at local network folders, which is great. But I want to browse to the email folder of this new project. So I'm going to click Browse, go into the directory. It's this new project here. So click on Emails. It might be called Correspondence or something else. And then at the moment, it's just called Emails. So if I click the left arrow, it goes back a level. So when people start filing to this, they can see the name of the project, not just Emails. And you can see here it's been added in. So now anyone else that's got access to this collection can start filing and searching this location straight away. Very importantly, make sure you click Save after you've added something, just so it saves for the rest of the team. The second way to add a location is from the bottom up. So if I go into the server, into the, a, a new project that's just, that's just been started, so this one here, if I click on the email folder and then right click, there's an option to add a location here. So this opens up the same kind of mini prompt. It's already knowing that it's it's kind of in a server folder. The only extra step here is by choosing the collection it goes into. So it's already guessed that it's the project's collection here, which is great. I'm going to just change that to the name of the project again. Click OK. Now, if I go back to the locations window and go back onto this collection, it knows somebody somewhere has changed this collection. So if I reload it, I can see the new collection, the new project there has been added at the bottom. The final way to add locations uh, is a drag and drop method. So this works if your filing structure is very consistent. So if I go back to just the list of projects, so all of ours, for example, all of the email folders are called 01 emails. And again, you might call them correspondence or just email or something else. Now, if I select all of these and drag them into the locations window, what will happen is it will load a list of paths, so five paths in this situation, and it will just say emails. So the rest of them have been added, which is why it won't allow duplicates, because we don't want people filing to different places. But essentially, if I click on all of these now, um, click left by description, it will change them back to the name of the project. Now I'm going to have to delete these because they're obviously duplicates, but that's a good way of adding in loads of new projects, loads of archive projects into a place where everyone can see them.